Hey, Remarkable You! Welcome back! And if you're new to the channel, welcome! Glad to have you! Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Today I'm going to show you how to do the purse card. So I just came across this as I was perusing the projects. So to find it, just go into projects. And I was actually looking for paper purses. <laughs> I'm sure you can guess why. And it comes up, it's actually titled the purse card. Now I'm going to show you how to put this together because they're... These are their instructions. Fold along the score lines. Apply the cutouts. Embellish. <laughs> it doesn't really show you what to do. <laughs> so I figured, well, let's see if I can figure it out and show you. So there's all the pieces there on my screen. It looks a little confusing. It's quite a bit to cut out, but uh, let's get started. Here is everything cut out. There's a few pieces we can push off to the side. So this little envelope is for the gift card. That's the main envelope. So we'll move those. Now a little bit more manageable. You can see I went with glitter blue paper. And this is more of a... Like a peachy red. Really nice color. But we're going to start with some of the basic parts of attaching everything. And then slowly build this card. Okay, these two gray pieces are the main part of your card, and they actually get attached like that. So I'm going to recommend you've got double score lines, and that's just because this gets a little thicker. So you can attach whichever way floats your boat. I'm going to put my folds in first. get that out of the way because it will be easier to put this together so again they line up just like that I'm going to use white glue for this part just so I can align them the best if you're really good at lining up, go ahead and use your double-sided tape. Other than my glitter cardstock, everything I have here is 65 pound cardstock. It's Recollections from Michaels. Okay, there is the main part of the card done. And again, it doesn't matter if you glue top or bottom. You just want to have this opening and then this is... They turn into two flaps. There's the purse there, but we're going to build it up. Next, we're going to take the other solid bigger piece. This solid piece is to write a note on. So you can put that off to the side. I should have moved it earlier for you. Now this piece gets attached right there. So again, I'm going to use glue. So I can line it up. We'll give that a moment, a chance to dry. Okay, still working on the inside of the card. We now attach this piece. So it's the smaller one and it fits right there. So again, this is still the inside of the card. So go ahead and glue that piece down and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, while that dries, we're gonna work on the next piece. So you want this one and the two rectangular pieces. So this holds the card. So fold in all your score lines. Hopefully you can fold them better than I'm folding them right now. So it looks like that. 
And this one does get glued in right there, but we're not at that point just yet. We are going to add a little bit of glue to the tabs. See, and it just makes a little pouch. Now the red piece gets glued down first, and then the blue piece on top of it. So go ahead and get that glued down. I'll glue mine down. And then as you know, we'll go on to the next step. So there, that part has dried for me. Now, Design Space is recommending that you put little jewels right there. I do not have colored jewels that kind of match this, but I do have glitter glue. So I think this will work. What do you think will look better? Probably the silver to go with the gray. So I'm going to do just little dabs in the center there, just to give it a bit more pizzazz. So what do you think? I know it's a little hard to see, but it just gives it a, as I said, pizzazz. So that's not bad. Next thing we're going to do is grab your little envelope, and we're going to build this one. So fold in your lines, they all fold inwards. But before we glue this together, we're actually going to add to this part here. So this is the inside, flip it over. This red piece, oh, as I knock over my glue, that goes there. Then the blue, blue piece goes on top. So then when it's all folded, it looks like that. So go ahead and get that glued on. Okay, while those dry, take your main part of your card, flip it over, and you've got two red pieces, as you can see here. That one goes there. That one goes there. Okay, so the back of your card should look like that. That lines up with that piece there, but you don't want to put this piece on first. Take the single one and attach that to the bottom. So there's that piece attached. Now we're going to attach this piece. Now it does have score lines in it. One there, one there, but before you attach it, you want to attach this piece. So it goes right on top. So get your folds done on that one too. Glue it on. And then it glues on that way. There's only one way for it to fit, so you can't mess up how everything gets attached. Just like that. So I'll get that glued down. And then if you want to keep embellishing inside the circles like we've done on the other pieces. You can do that or you can leave it as is. It's up to you. I haven't decided if I'm going to embellish everything or just the inside of the card. One part before you glue this piece on, you're only gluing this part on. These pieces do not glue down, okay? Leave them as a flap and then we'll go on to the next step and you'll see what I mean by not gluing them down. Okay, now that that's all glued down, let's fold the purse. So see why you don't glue these ones down? So we just have to glue that circle on. So it just gets attached only to the round glitter part. Because then that will slide underneath that piece there. So go ahead and get that glued on. Okay, only a couple more things to do. We have to attach our card. I got a bit of glitter glue on that, but that's okay because it gets attached that way and then closes up. And then this one, 
gets attached on that part and make sure to leave enough room that when the card is put in, it's not going to interfere with the lid closing. So I'm just going to use double-sided tape. Put that in there as straight as possible. Then the same for this one. Now it just tabs in I could get it to tab in there. So I used a bit of tape to shut it. So I'm going to unpop it. Just so I can get that tabbed in. So get your card in first. There we go. So you get your card in there. Tape up the back. in there even. There, I think I'm going to add a little bit of my sparkle glue to the inside just to make it a bit more sparkly because you can never have enough sparkle. Here is the final reveal. Here's the envelope that it goes in. Envelope's pretty simple to put together. The smaller tabs get pushed in. The bottom tab gets pushed in at here along those sides, then once you have the card done, just shut it like that. So here is the front of the card. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a purse. There's the back. I am so happy I used the glitter paper. I don't know how well it's picking up the silver glitter glue I embellished it with, but uh, if you can see it, hopefully you enjoy it as well. So to undo this, just pops open like that. So you slide this one in underneath and to keep it shut I just slid it under the other one as well and that seems to work better. But let's see what the inside looks like. So there's the extra embellishment I did on there. Isn't that super cute? I love it. So you've got your little card there to put your note onto, and it just slides in. This one opens up. Let's see if I can get it open up for you so you can see what it looks like. I have to get it open because before I give this card to someone, I have to get a gift card in there. That's the whole point of this card. Okay, we're not going to try and open that. I showed you how to put it all together. I'll get it open when it's ready for a card to go in. But I think that this purse card is adorable. And it folds up very nicely. And then the little tabs to keep it closed. I think this is an awesome project to do. A little time consuming. But the first go round, it's going to take you a bit longer because you've never put it together before. So hopefully this video, let me zoom you in a bit. Hopefully this video has helped you and make it easier for you to put this together. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.